time on the Lazy Geckos. We got a little personal with you aboard our boat, which we often refer to as the Crazy Gecko. You got to check out our new folding bikes. Then you saw what it's really like to live aboard a sailboat with a gecko full of kids and dogs. We discussed maintenance and what it takes to keep things running around here. We also showed you the unexpected and how adults get their alone time even with kids on board. Hold on to it with this arm, okay? And you want to watch where you're going and keep it at a nice idle pace, and obviously that's how you turn, this and that, okay? So I'll take this direction, that way, and I'll take this way. Yeah, that's right. And now me and Trevor are going to go on a bike ride on our awesome adventurer bikes that we got at Camping World. Um, and it's beautiful out tonight. Tell me about your uh, exit points on the boat. The companion way? How many do you have? Three. Okay. There's one in the companion way. There's one in the hatch above the salon, and there's one in the hatch in the V-bird. The fire broke out in the head. You guys are home alone with Reese. What do you do? Go. Go, 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 go. This summer, our kids have learned so much when it comes to living aboard. They've also been working on a syllabus to get promoted from swab to mate. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finalize their uh, test. They've been working on syllabus for the last couple months for the summer. Uh, their swab to mate syllabus. And then if they pass, we're going to have a little ceremony for their promotion. Who can tell me what, what types of anchors we have? The smaller one is the Bruce and the bigger one is the Delta. What is this right here? The main sheet. Okay. <laughs> Trevor, what's that big long thing called? The boom. Where is it that you guys sleep? The salon. The salon. Who sleeps on the port side? Yes, Okay, what are these called out here, these cubbies that hold everything? Uh, port and starboard lazarettes. What's yeah. the first step you do in man overboard? The the say man overboard and point to the person and watch them. Correct. And you just keep pointing at them so you don't lose them. That's right. What is our draft? Six, six foot. foot draft. How tall is our mast? 37 foot. Or no, mm -hmm. 52 feet. No. 52 feet, yeah. that's right. How many fire extinguishers are on the boat? Three. And they are in the stern lazarette, one right by the here. stairs, by the companion way, and then in the I'm say beaver way. Trevor, how do you check the engine oil? Um, so when you go into the engine, which is under the stairs to the companion way, the two on the bottom, um, there's these little latches that you can pull, and you can take those off. And there's a big engine there and there's a dipstick that you can take out 
and you never want to hold it straight up because then it can drip down and then you can get, get bad like different readings than it's supposed to be and you could be bad it could be bad so you hold it down so that it's on the right reading and then you check and you make sure it's at the right spot and then you wipe it off and then you put it back in again and then you take it out and then you do the same thing and then you can put it back in tying a stopper knot See? Correct. Can I see it? Nice. Demonstrate a snubber knot. Oh, <laughs> a snubber. Don't I need two lines? <laughs> you can do it with two, it's fine. Just like this? Okay. You can do it with two loops, you don't have to do three. I always like oh, okay. with three, two, seven. Okay. Very good. Jessica, yeah. demonstrate the bull on that. Oh That is correct. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. The last step in their testing was to raise the mainsail all by themselves, which they did perfectly. We are so proud of our little geckos and are truly sad they will be leaving us for the upcoming school year. In one word, how would you summarize your summer? One word, let me think. I would say extraordinary. Oh, extraordinary. Okay, Trevor? Okay. I made this word up and it means like every good word and it's expelidocious. Sounds like something off Harry Potter. <laughs> okay. And the other question, Trev, you'll go first, is what is your favorite memory from the summer? Okay, my favorite memory was sitting in that chair, feeling like I'm going to get ripped out and fall, and shooting up the mast and getting my legs caught in the stay. Okay. <laughs> Going up the mast. How about you, Jess? Healing over. Healing over? Any specific time? When we were like all the way over and Brittany was freaking out. That was pretty fun. <laughs> guys. Yeah. For you, not for me. <laughs> Alright. Congratulations. You've you've passed. Okay, you're not uh, you've not been promoted yet, but that passes your syllabus. Yay! Okay, Jesse. Yeah. Congratulations. You did a great job this summer. You did a, a wonderful job with helping Brittany and getting out there and doing anchoring and everything. And today we are promoting you from Swab to Mate. You want to smile? Want a picture? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for that, you <laughs> get your very own Captain Ron hat. <laughs> Trevor, hey, you were always first to jump up to help and do everything on the boat. And you really did a great job while you're out there working and you know doing the sails and man the helm and everything. So you did a great job. So today we're gonna to promote you from Swap to Mate. Congratulations. You also oh, sweet. get your own Captain Ron hat. <laughs> Oh, come on, give a better speech. <laughs> okay. Okay. I had a great summer aboard the Lazy Gecko. I also forgot what the mast was called. <laughs> and I am very happy that I got to spend my summer on a boat in Florida on a yacht. It was very fun sailing on the old Lazy Gecko, hanging out with old Fanny at night. and. Sailing, keeling over, sitting there going, hi guys, 
and hanging out and stuff, sailing the world. And now we should go. Like I stuck stickers all on on, a, on our mooring balls and stuff. We should stick stickers everywhere on this place. This is our Captain Ron hats. What are you doing there, just boys? replacing the little check valve that broke on the air conditioner. So what exactly happened? Oh well, this is the this is the um, little thing that collects all the condensation and sends it out to the boat. You know, so what it does is this hooks up to the condensation pan and then goes to this little strainer, comes through, and there's a check Whoa! valve that only allows water to go that way. So uh, and then it goes out and it hooks into the line for the water out. And goes out with that. Well, the check valve, the old one, stopped working. We kept a bucket yeah, underneath there. I just rerouted another line like this to the bucket, and we've been Ooh, dumping it. Right. It takes probably 10, 12 hours for it to fill up completely. So, I mean, it's got a, lot of, a lot of water comes out of that thing. So, that just goes there like that. And then uh, this hooks up to the other side, goes up, should suck right out now. Let's take a look at our bucket situation. You want to show them? Sure. What we did. Yeah. So this is basically the condensation pan here, and this is the other white line. This will hook up right here now, but they'll just run down into this Brita here. So that we actually right now it's about what time is it? Noon. Uh, one. Yeah. So it's one o'clock, and we emptied this this morning around nine. Mm -hmm. Something like that, and as you can see, it's already almost halfway full. You know, it's cool, we can collect this water right now, we don't need to do that. You know, we have this option if we ever need to, but it's just more of a nuisance right now. If you, you don't empty it soon enough, it will drain everywhere, so. I will need you to be still during this surgical procedure. Are you nervous? Yes. Why? You're ripping your stitches out of my head. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to hurt. It's going to be bloody. It's going to stink. Oh, no, I'm rubbing alcohol. This hurts. Ow, ow. Does that really hurt? Well, is there pressure on it? Okay. Two. All you have to do is lift the little knot up, snip one on the side, and you can see if the stitch came out or not. Because you'll have the stitch. You'll see the whole loop. So, two little stitches. Huh? How was it? Doing it or how did it work out? Oh. It was good. Um, a little hard to see because I'm getting older. <laughs> I got close. <laughs> oh, the stitch is tiny. It's so small. Are you done? Oh, look, second loop. See? Yeah. So, are you ready to sleep in the V berth tonight? Yes, I am very excited. Yeah? The boys are hanging out in the V berth while the ladies sleep in the salon watching the Kardashians. Rough life, huh? Yeah. Jessica and Trevor added so much to this adventure. Each hello always ends with a I'll see you later, which we don't enjoy, but we always make it a point that when we're together to spend as much quality time as possible, sharing, laughing, playing, and sometimes just relaxing. I personally love that Reese has such lovely siblings and we can't wait for them to come aboard again. Pack a bag and follow the sun. Kick off her shoes and have some fun. Get ready, get set, let's go. If we never go, we'll never know. Oh, 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 oh. Cause you and I, oh yeah, we could fly so high.
just us. It is just us. We decided to sit down and take a break and give you guys yeah. a little recap on the kids being here because we had so many questions and almost like hesitation from people on if we could really do it when we added in the two more kids. And the answer is yes, you can. Oh, it's totally doable. Oh yeah, I, I personally had a lot of anxiety because you know it is. I was worried about that, everybody being comfortable and as a mom you worry. So when they got there, after about a week or two, I told you like- It was like, it was right away. There wasn't a time where it was like, oh my gosh, we need to get off the boat. No, everybody <laughs> took their own share of like, you know, the workload being like dishes and we all pitched in a laundry and that made it easier. Plus, I was really surprised that the boat actually felt bigger in a way. It was, it was weird. So it was almost like the boat <laughs> grew because I saw how much yeah. more you could add into the boat you know with the kids and the dogs and it wasn't an issue everybody played a role and we all did our own thing and it worked out as long as we worked together yeah it was a good time yeah I miss them already I know we do miss them uh, it's a lot more downtime now that they're not here you know yeah. we tried to stay really busy and you just do stay busy on a boat anyways mm -hmm. but um Reese I don't know if you can hear him he misses them too uh, we just wanted to tell you guys you know it can be done on a 37 foot sailboat we enjoyed it we loved it yeah. next time on the crazy geckos we arrive in Miami and we take you all around South Beach where you can see everything from hot guys hitting the weights on the sand to sexy little mamas soaking up the sun on the beach. Then we head back to the Lazy Gecko to start our pre-keys trip maintenance. Patrons, don't forget about all your crazy gecko swag. Make your donations via PayPal if you'd like to receive some new Lazy Gecko t-shirts. All our Vimeo videos shows you what goes on behind the scenes on the Lazy Gecko.